recently somewhere on this planet an exciting announcement was made by a member of the AXM Change Control Board. Dear colleagues, it is done. We are pleased to inform you that a new version of AXM has been released. The AXM 5.2 release candidate is out for testing and verification. The whole gang, or as we say in a more formal way, the community of interest, was present to listen to this announcement. The IT guy, not surprisingly, stayed pretty calm. The boss, however, grumbled. Why, for God's sake, do we need a new version of this? The S expert was a bit more enthusiastic. Well, the previous version, AXM 5.1, has been released 14 years ago. A lot of things have changed in the meantime in the aeronautical information world. I'm just thinking about the provision of Annex 15 and PANS AIM, such as the implementation of SAT voice, the new concept of pavement classification rating, or the procedure design criteria and charting requirements to support performance-based navigation. Let's hear what it is all about. First, the good news for the management. There have been no changes whatsoever in regard to the AXM design principles. As the previous version of AXM 5, the conceptual model of AXM 5.2 was designed with UML. The exchange format used is still based on XML and GML and the same ISO series 19100 standards for geographical information are applicable. Furthermore, for each implemented change proposal, a forward mapping from AXM 5.1.1 to AXM 5.2 and a corresponding backward mapping is provided. Whereas different mapping scenarios are applied. Depending on the complexity of a change, a one-to-one -one mapping may be possible. In certain, more complex cases, a partial data loss has to be accepted. But what has been changed on the model that is of operational significance? Excellent question. In order to get a better overview of all the changes that have been made to the model, a dedicated page on the AXM conference environment has been created. The corresponding space on confluence is named AXM 5.2 changes. On this page you can find all the 125 changes implemented into AXM 5.2. For your convenience, they are grouped by main concept areas. Besides a group for so-called transversal topics, meaning changes that affect more than one main concept area, you will find the changes grouped into routes, airspaces and so on. Each change has a unique identifier and a title. For the beginning, Let's have a look at one of the less complex changes. For example, AXM340. This change introduces new values for the type attribute of the airport heliport feature. Like all the other changes, also this one is documented by providing a brief description of the change, the rationale for the change, including a corresponding link to the issue tracking tool used by the AXM CCB for collecting and processing reported change proposals. Also, an impact assessment has been made for each change. Finally, a dedicated description of the change is given, including the part of the AXM UML model 
that is affected. For this particular change, the code list named code airport heliport base type has been modified. It gets five new additional values. Furthermore, you will find the instructions for the forward and also the backward mapping between the XM5 versions. In this example, as for all changes introducing new list values, a one-to-one -one mapping is possible, applying the other concept of AXM. For some of the changes you will also encounter a mapping example at the end of the page, showing the coding in AXM 5.2 compared to AXM 5.1.1. By the way, most of the changes introduced by AXM 5.2 are of this kind of simpler nature, such as the provision of new list values for an attribute or adding a new attribute to a feature. However, there are also more complex changes that have been introduced into AXM 5.2. Even complete new parts of the model have been developed. These changes mainly concern the terminal procedure branch of the XM model. One of them is the XM change 472. This change ensures the alignment with the latest performance based navigation concept of ICAO. The latest PBN manual defines a couple of navigation specifications which are not fully supported by the older versions of AXM. As you can see, for this change not only one, but many AXM classes have been modified. For this change several code lists have been updated. For example, for the code navigation specification base type, new data type values have been added, such as ARNP and RNP 0.3, whereas others have been deleted. In order to align the XM model with the PBN concept, two additional attributes are added in the aircraft characteristic class. To use this class consistently where necessary to indicate a PBN navigation specification. As a consequence, some attributes of other classes had to be deleted and replaced by a new relationship to the aircraft characteristic object. Some changes required to add completely new classes to the model, such as change 467. This change models the elements of global navigation satellite systems. As this is basically a new part of the AXM, it required to add a couple of new classes, such as the satellite system feature or the code list for the satellite approach types. As you can imagine, for such substantial changes, the forward and the backward mapping between the different AXM versions can be quite complex. Well, that was a brief overview of the key facts regarding the new release of AXM version 5.2, which eventually also changed the look on our boss's face. If you want to learn more about the AXM 5.2, Stay tuned and check out the next episodes of our XM5 story. <music>